Good evening. It's another installment with the Peppa Wolverine. Here we're with a different backdrop of uh, what we got. What we got here behind me. Here we have a a death spiral that was planted late. Hasn't done much yet, but it's got some cool peppers on it. Interestingly enough, they look kind of like the pepper I'm going to review. And what am I going to review? The most interesting looking star scream that's on the plant right now because I want to pull something that's good looking. So the what, what star scream, what is it? Star scream is a uh, Jay's red ghost scorpion crossed with a yellow reaper. Produced by James Mallon. My seeds were carved from. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna get this wrong, but um, Danilo Marino, Space Chile, out of Europe. I chose this pepper because it's the most gnarly pod ready on the planet at the moment. I, had, I got like uh, two dozen in the garage, but I wanted to just pull something off the plant. See what it's all about, as opposed to what's in the garage drying. So it's a uh, extremely uh, wow, pleasant fruity smell. Extremely pleasant fruity smell. Apparently it's uh, the most gnarly uh, Jay's Red Ghost Scorpion possible out of James's garden, crossed with a yellow Maruga. Had a, not had rain for the last four days. You could see where like some of the oils were, uh, they're starting to form. I mean, they were in there or are they dehydrated, it's hard to say. You can see them in there. And how can I see that? Because there was like extremely yellow, yellowish pools of liquid in there. But they weren't running. They weren't like running around like water, like, oh, I'm going to hold the pod this way and the, it goes this way, hold it this way and it goes this way. No. Oils. Oil doesn't run like water. Pepper knife. It just kind of jumped right in, actually. So I ate half of it already. It's got an extremely pleasant, fruity flavor to it. Definitely reminiscent of a, a Jay's. Something. That piece fell on the floor. There's probably a couple others I could have cut it into that would have a little more oil in it. Good amount of placental tissue in there. Central seed base, more like this scorpion. Not like a boot running down the walls. Sometimes I like to chomp it off. Sometimes I like to take it in pieces. This is the best fino recently, so I'm not going to chomp through the seed base. I'm going to eat everything around it but the seed base. This was an isolated pot in the plant. with a seed net. Got the idea from uh, Peter Stanley. As I'm biting through it, it has become quite floral.
Hmm. As anyone that knows, that follows my videos, knows I'm not the biggest fan of like really floral peppers. The initial forefront of the star scream is floral. And as I'm describing the floral, the uh, heat's starting to kick in. That's why the having an issue to keep talking so it's I mean I'm like a minute into it and the heat level is like a reaper heat level with the fruity fruity backgrounds of a, a Jay's scorpion whether that's red or peach I'm not knowledgeable enough to tell you which one of the two, but this is a, a Jay's Red Peach Ghost Scorpion. One of the gnarliest you could find. Cross with a Yellow Scorpion. I'm sorry, Yellow Reaper. Yellow Reaper. So the... The heat level could be extremely hot. But sometimes when you cross a super hot with a super hot, you get something a little bit less than what you might expect. And my mouth is uh, fruity floral. And I did not go through the placenta. Had I gone through this, I would, I might be on a, another level, because it's pretty hot. Like I said in previous reviews, I was, I chose peppers that I planted, as opposed that were gifted. What heat levels they might be in, one through ten, and the star scream I had in the top five. So, I actually have this at number five at the moment. Only because I have four reviews left to do of peppers that have not been reviewed, of things that I grew out as opposed to things that were gifted to me. <laughs> Star scream. <coughs> Fruity, floral in the background, more fruity though. The fruity essence is uh, in front, definitely taking over like the nasal passage, top of the, uh, the mouth, because everything is fruity. in a very good way. There's some uh, floral in the background. Very slight bitterness in the way background. Um, had I eaten some of the seed base, it might be different, but I didn't because, like I said, isolated pod, saving seeds. Heat levels, phenomenal, phenomenal. <sighs> Incredible floral nature. 
I'm sorry, I said floral, I said fruity. I meant fruity. Floral's on the background. Tongue is just on fire, absolute fire. Start going back in the esophagus. But it's enjoyable. It's an incredible amount of heat. But this has an incredible flavor too. It's like the like fruitiness of the reaper and the juicy fruitiness of a, a J. Weaver pepper combined. Not easy to pull out the flavor because it, man, this is hot and it's just dropped like an A bomb down the stomach. Atom bomb. Whew. Starscream is definitely, I placed it in the right area of what I grew, between like 1 to 10 of what's in my garden. I put it in the 5 to 6 slot. There's only a couple things left to try out. This could ultimately notch some of them out. Wow. And the nice thing about it is it has an incredible flavor. I mean, it's hot. I'm, I'm, the whole mouth is on fire. And all the way back to the ears coming down the esophagus and I told you it just A-bombed it and dropped it in my stomach it hasn't gone to my ears yet though so it's not like panic because panic mode goes to my ears when I when my ears start ringing like two three four alarm fire I know I'm in trouble I'm not in trouble with this one and I think it's because I'm enjoying it so much. It's got an incredible fruity flavor. And an incredibly respectable amount of heat. It is starting to do something on the stomach though. So I might regret that. <laughs> Starscream, one hell of a pepper. Jay's Red Ghost Scorpion, crossed with a Yellow Reaper. Came out of uh, James Mallon's garden. He must have shared it with a good friend in Italy. I got it from uh, Space Chili, that's where my seeds came from. And they grew out true so far. I got two different Finos, one's a kind of a short stout <sighs> wrinkled fat belly and another one with a long tail incredibly respectable pepper man I can't wait to see what these do next season that's a hell of a pepper James, thanks for uh, sharing that with your buddy, uh, especially Danilo Marino. Thanks for, uh, <coughs> ooh, wow, offering it to me made public. Wow, that burp just like burnt. Holy shit. I thought it had peaked, but maybe not. After like spitting it back up on just a hair? Wow. It's like reliving it. Starscream. If you're not familiar with it, you should make yourself familiar with it. It's a hell of a pepper. Great cross. Awesome flavor. It's probably one of the, actually, the best flavored super hots I've had in my, from my garden this year. There are a couple uh, that just arrived from uh, some friends to try from their garden, so I'm interested to see, but really, the Jay's 
Red Ghost Scorpion times the Yellow Reaper. Mad Ball level. I like it. It's hot. Gonna wish I had some food before I had this review, but we'll see later on. Hope you guys really enjoy this review. That's the Pepper Wolverine. We'll do this again pretty soon. Thank you. Have a good evening.